Going My Way is a 1944 film that tells the story of a young priest, Father O'Malley, who is sent to a struggling parish. As he works to revitalize the church and connect with the community, he forms a bond with the older, traditional-minded priest, Father Fitzgibbon. The movie explores themes of friendship, faith, and the importance of community. But hold on to your seats because there are plenty of surprising, heartwarming, and even heartbreaking facts about this classic film that you might not know. Keep watching to discover some lesser-known anecdotes that will fascinate you. Have you ever wondered about the first time someone watched this timeless movie? Or perhaps you're curious about the behind-the-scenes stories that make it even more special. Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this film in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So get ready to dive into the fascinating world of Going My Way and uncover all its hidden gems. And don't forget to share your own stories with us. It's time to celebrate this beloved classic together. A viewer really enjoyed the film Going My Way despite its tendency to be a bit sentimental. The relationship between the main characters, Father Chuck O'Malley and Father Fitzgibbon, is quite interesting. O'Malley is more modern in his approach to leading the church, while Fitzgibbon is more traditional, creating some conflicts and opportunities for personal growth in the story. The inclusion of a boy's choir made up of local troublemakers adds depth to O'Malley's character as he becomes a mentor to these troubled youths. The revelation that O'Malley was sent to replace Fitzgibbon adds complexity to their relationship, leading to a heartwarming resolution. Although there are moments that might seem a bit forced, the film is lifted by strong performances and a warm feeling throughout. Director Leo McCary's humor adds another layer to the story, even in its more serious moments. In the end, Going My Way shows the power of empathy and community, with Bing Crosby delivering a standout performance. Going My Way, the first movie ever to win an Oscar for Best Picture and later made into a TV show, features F.R. O'Malley, a character who loves the St. Louis Browns baseball team. It's interesting that the movie came out the same year the Browns made it to the World Series in St. Louis. Bing, the main actor, didn't believe in his acting skills at first. On the day of the award ceremony, Paramount executives had to find him on a golf course to make sure he came. These stories add more to the history of Going My Way, which is still remembered as a significant part of cinema history. Going My Way is the sole film directed by Leo McCary to clinch the Best Picture title at the Academy Awards. Bing Crosby, the lead actor, performed Swinging on a Star by Jimmy Van Heusen, a tune that snagged an Oscar for Best Song. Crosby lent his voice to four Academy Award-winning songs across various films. This movie marked a historic moment as it was the first to have two actors awarded Oscars for their performances Bing Crosby for Best Actor and Barry Fitzgerald for Best Supporting Actor. These accolades cemented the film's place in cinematic history. In 1944, Going My Way gained significant recognition in cinema history. Alongside Faye Bainter and other talented actors like Teresa Wright and Al Pacino, Barry Fitzgerald stood out for receiving Academy Award nominations in two acting categories for his role in the film. Despite its acclaim, some Latin American countries banned the movie because Bing Crosby, who played a priest, wore a white shirt. However, this didn't stop the movie from being successful. Barry Fitzgerald's performance was crucial, making him the first actor to win Best Supporting Actor at both the Academy Awards and the Golden Globe Awards. This recognition highlighted the movie's importance in the industry. In summary, Going My Way remains a significant piece of cinematic history, known for its memorable performances and remarkable achievements, particularly Barry Fitzgerald's dual award wins. In 1944, Going My Way made history by winning Oscars for Best Picture and Best Song. Rise Stevens played Genevieve Linden in the movie. In the same year, she took on the lead role in Carmen at the Metropolitan Opera. However, her debut in this role at the Metropolitan didn't happen until December 28, 1945. Rise Stevens appeared in four Oscar Best Picture nominees, including One Foot in Heaven, Madame Curie, and Miracle on 34th Street. Going My Way was the only one to secure a win. Rise Stevens' portrayal in the film was noteworthy, and she continued to contribute to other acclaimed productions. Jean Heather, portraying the young aspiring singer secretly married to Jean Lockhart's son, featured in 10 films before a serious auto accident cut her career short. The same character earned Barry Fitzgerald both Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor Oscar nominations, making him one of three actors to achieve this feat. 
Fitzgerald's double acting nominations for this film mark his only Academy Award nominations with the Best Supporting Actor win. Going My Way, filmed in St. Monica Catholic Church near the beach in Santa Monica, California, features Barry Fitzgerald's character, partly inspired by the church's real pastor, MSGNR, Nicholas Keneally. It is one of 10 films selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. In 1912, Bill sang My Melancholy Baby for the first time at the Mozart Cafe in Denver, Colorado, after being directed to it by the pub's proprietor. Damon Runyon, known for his drinking, famously requested the song repeatedly during the evening. My Melancholy Baby became a comedy staple. Going My Way, released in 1944, gained recognition for its song Swinging on a Star, which landed at 37 on the American Film Institute's 2004 list of America's greatest music in the movies. Gene Lockhart, Porter Hall, and William Frawley, who appeared in Miracle on 34th Street, were part of the cast. Criticisms about the lead actor's parenting style emerged later. Gary Crosby, Bing's eldest son, penned a controversial biography titled Going My Own Way in 1983, depicting his father as violent. Despite fluctuating opinions from Bing's other sons, Philip Crosby consistently defended him, enduring family tragedy as two of his siblings succumbed to depression and suicide. Bing's children from his second marriage, including Mary Crosby, later praised him as a loving father. Early in Smith's career, he was a member of the Robert Mitchell Boy Choir, appearing in a film alongside Bing Crosby. The film featured a song titled Going My Way, which was turned down by the music publisher. However, another song from the movie, Swinging on a Star, proved to be a success, winning an Oscar for Best Song and dominating the Billboard charts for 28 weeks, nine of which it spent at the top. This success helped contribute to the film's box office triumph, making it one of the first to achieve such success due in part to its soundtrack. Swinging on a Star became one of Crosby's most popular recordings, marking a significant milestone in his career. In the movie Going My Way, directed by Leo McCary, the filming method used differed from what Bing Crosby was accustomed to during his time on I Love Lucy. Despite this, Crosby's performance as Father Chuck O'Malley remains memorable. Stanley Clements, also known as Stash, plays Tony Scaponi, who gifts a turkey to Father Fitzgibbon. Crosby, known for his roles in How Green Was My Valley, and Mrs. Miniver, delivers a compelling performance in this heartwarming film. It's a story of compassion, friendship, and the challenges faced by a young priest in a new parish. The film showcases Crosby's talent and versatility as an actor, making it a timeless classic in cinematic history. Going My Way is a film from 1944 that holds significance in American cinema. It stars Bing Crosby, known for his roles in other culturally significant films like King of Jazz and Road to Morocco. The movie tells the story of a young priest, played by Crosby, who is sent to a struggling parish in East St. Louis, Illinois. The St. Louis Browns, a baseball team that later became the Baltimore Orioles, are part of the historical backdrop, originating as the Brewers in Milwaukee. Going My Way is recognized by the Library of Congress for its cultural and historical importance alongside Crosby's other notable works.